Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning and the Rain. If y'all, as y'all know, the storm is heading up through Georgia, and I'm just south of Atlanta, and it's just raining real hard, right? Well, it's just raining. It's not even really raining real hard right now. So we'll just keep an eye on the weather. Hopefully, we'll keep electricity and everything and have a good stream day. But everybody keep uh, all the people traveling um, in your thoughts and prayers that will be coming, you know, leaving going back home i'm not sure when they'll be allowed to go back to florida but everybody keep all the travelers and your thoughts and prayers so today i've got a couple videos i'm going to do i'm going to start with this one it's the world of tiara i hope i'm saying that right and ev medina is here ev is the artist and author she has a whole series of books and a medieval fairy tale now i have not read them not read the books but I'm, I'm guessing you can get those on Amazon as you can the uh, color book. So I'm going to color a page in it. And Evie is in the chat. So if y'all have any questions, put them in caps as well. So if there's anything you want me to repeat uh, on the video, Evie or anyone, uh, put them in caps. So I know you're talking to me and I can, you know, re-talk about the questions. So she sent it to me, and she did send a couple pages that were colored already, but I'm going to color for us. Here's her little brochure. So she apparently was a or is was or is a gamer. So Erin, make her feel welcome, and anybody else that's a gamer. I'm not a gamer anymore. I used to be. <laughs> but anyway, um, don't have time. Too much art, not enough ga ta game time. But anyway... She has a blog and her color book is on uh, Amazon. It's on Amazon Create Space and her blog. And her blog is, it's on here too. Yeah, oh, here it is. And it's Tierra, T I A E R A dot blogspot.com so you can find her find her whole storyline she has a little video and she you know talks about her stories and her books and yeah buddy yeah that we'll have to keep that for a whole nother segment <laughs> okay you can ask you can ask Evie here uh, Bunny was asking how do you go about making a color book well I'm not going to discuss that whole process right now on the show because we're going to talk about her actual color book so back to Evie so she has a little she sent me a little brochure and here's her different books the world of Tierra trilogy and she has them right here in her brochure and uh, you can find all this stuff all this information on her blog so if you want to read the trilogy and there's a write-up here about each one I'm gonna read the write-up in her color book so if you're interested in the whole storyline you can go check out or peruse the awesomeness that is Tierra. How about that? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so the girls are asking her about her gaming. And, yeah, so be ready, Evie. Be ready. You will be inundated. Inundated? <laughs> You're going to be inundated with questions from the girls. Okay, so it's T I A E R A, Tierra dot blogspot dot com. And there she is. So thanks for being here, Evie. Okay, so now on to the color book. And <laughs> hey, Lynn, anybody else popping in? Thanks for being here. Yeah, there's the links and everything there, guys. Thanks for, yeah, y'all pop in and go visit her. Okay, so um, I have a page mark that I'm going to color, but I'm going to do a flip through. Hopefully you can see. Can y'all see everything fine? Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in one. Let's click in one. that Because I still want to cover the whole book. And it's just barely fitting in right there. How's that? Okay, so she has a little world map here. And I'll tell I'll read I'll read her intro here in a second where, where her world comes from. And it's designed and illustrated by Evie Medina. Okay, so here's the intro, and I'm gonna read this. <clears throat> if you are new to the fantasy world of Tierra, welcome. This coloring book is filled with images and descriptions regard <clears throat> regarding the trilogy I've been working on for about five years. Writing, designing, and illustrating the three books was a great learning experience, and I hope these pages inspire you to read my stories as you color and embellish the various characters and places I've included. 
Some drawings are new for the, just for this book, while others are redone with added details and designed for coloring. The paper used is here is not thick. I think on her video she says it's like 55 pounds. It's thin. It's a thin for a color book. But again, we know how to deal with thin color book pages, right? <laughs> we, all, we all deal with that too. But it's of good quality. I recommend using crayon color pencils or non-smearing chalks. I provided a blank page at the back of this book for testing your markers, gel pens, and ink. And again, if you did, it is, her story is on the back. So if you use markers, it's going to go through and you'll ruin the story. But if you're if you just want to color the book and you're you know you don't mind if it gets you know the back words get marked up, then just make sure and put a piece of cardstock between it. Which reminds me, I need to get a piece of cardstock out for when I color. Hang on. So when I color this page here. Okay, so let's continue on. Now, a little bit about Tierra. The planet is outside our solar system and is smaller than Earth, approximately two-thirds its size. It has eight continents. And I'm not going to attempt to name the eight continents because I know I will not be pronouncing them correctly. I'll let you guys phonetically uh, figure that out. But she names the eight continents. Tierra was created by a goddess ages ago. She and her guardians protect the circa 17th century planet. Much like God and his angels do here on earth. Tierra has monarchs who command great armies and lead the way to prosperity through education, politics, and trade. Courageous adventures include races such as humans, elves, fair, fays, fairies, Dwarves, half-elves, halflings, and last but not least, gnomes. Magic is everywhere. It's in the hands of the most intelligent wizards as well as the lowly swamp sprite. It appears in various forms, good and evil. Inspired by years of fantasy, gaming, movies, and books, I answer the call to create this world, the trilogy, and now this coloring book. So that's her introduction. Okay, Miss mispronunciation is part of the sci-fi experience <laughs> Tatiana uh, if the girls buy directly from her blog okay so yeah and if y'all Evie just said if the girls buy directly from her blog she'll sign their copies and mail them herself she takes checks and credit cards <laughs> I got a shadow right there hang on let me this shadow from my lamp let me move the let me move Lappy over just a little. There we go. So I don't have that shadow. Well, it's barely there, but okay. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm not going to read the story here, but as I come to the intro for that page, I'll read that. So like the priestess and the raven knight, and then there's a little, you know, the story goes through here. Can y'all see Okay. And then it has her different planets, the, or different continents, the different continents on the planet. Um, I'll attempt. <laughs> Sand Gray. Guard, and, guard our sacred rights. It kind of is like, you know, uh, and again, I have not read or seen. I know, don't email me, but I have not read or seen. Um, uh, what is it? <laughs> I can't even think of it now. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, a Game of Thrones. I've not read or seen a Game of Thrones. The reason I haven't watched a Game of Thrones and their and their th different thrones is because I want to read the books first, and I haven't had time to read the books. Oh, you can't do international orders, so use Amazon if you're international. Okay, that's that makes sense. So yeah, if you're an international gal wanting this book, use Amazon. It's on Amazon. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, I finally thought of it. <laughs> So anyway, okay, so here's the great cathedral of Espion, Espion, it could be Espion, Espion, or Espion, so I'm just going to flip through and you can see, okay, here's the weapons of Tierra, this is cool guys, it's like a medieval fairy tale, the show will be finished before finishes writing the books. <laughs> Uh, Cameron's read some I think he's read a couple The first two maybe And he's watched all the shows He's watched all the uh, series 
but I don't want to watch. I see, think about those kind, that kind of thing. Like Outlander, for instance. I read all of Outlander before I watched the first two seasons. It got too violent for me, so I just like, ah, I'll just, you know, I read the books. <clears throat> and I know people say Game of Thrones is that way too, but I'll read the books and then see if I want to watch, you know. Um, Final Fantasy, heart, heart, heart. Don't know how to put the emoji of hearts. <laughs> Sonia, one of the girls can give you the symbol to put in the heart. It's like a, it's like a, the, the backwards arrow and a three, and that'll give you the heart. A backwards arrow, I mean the backwards arrow and a three, will give you the heart symbol. Another book where D will do awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. I want y'all to look at the pages here. All right, so here's the Tyrian flowers. And then there's four different kinds of flowers here. Isn't this cool, guys? Okay. Ethereal. Ethereal? Ethereal. R. R. No, there's no T in there. It's A. Yeah. A. No R. It's ethereal. A T H R Y L L E. <laughs> I told y'all I'm going to mess up the names. And there's their coat of arms. Beauty, Warrior, Spirit, Loyalty. Athril. Okay, there we go. Athril. See, what I need to do is I need to write these down. That's what I need to do because Evie's, Evie's here. Evie's here. So I need to get, get it right from the author's mouth, right? So this is Athril. Okay. Thank you, Evie. <laughs> Athril. Okay. And let's see, what did, how did I say the first one? Let me, now I know Tierra, I think I said that right. What about San Gray? Is that right? San Gray? That's kind of, I think that's kind of self explanatory. San Gray. Okay. <laughs> I've been just having fun with this. Okay. And here's Thomas and Zeron. Or zero, yeah, Zeran. Zeran. <laughs> this is the one I want to color. I want to color the Azure Mist, and we have an Azure Muse girl, but I want to color the Azure Mist Manor. That's the one I want to color today. <laughs> it is Zeran, okay. <laughs> Thomas, oh, that's Thomas, okay. Okay, Thomas. All right, this just, yeah, kind of threw me off without the H. <laughs> so I want to color the Azure Mist Manor today. So I, I booked that one. Okay. All right, the Legend the legend of Fairy C, and it's F-A-Y-R-E. So I'm assuming it's just like the word fairy, right? <laughs> you want to live there, Lindsay? Ah, Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe, I mean, I'm not going to do it today, but maybe someday we can read some of the story. Okay. Twilight Town. There's Twilight Town. And it looks like it's in a cave. It looks like it's in, in an underground cave there. Fair Sea. Oh, Fair Sea. Okay. Well, let's go back then. Let's go back. So it's just fair, not fairy C, fair C, okay? <laughs> and Twilight Town, because there's little bats up in the root, it looks like, you know, um, stalag, my, is it stalactites that come down, stalagmites that come up, or vice versa? Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so this is Audrey. And see, she has her name down here. She has the names and the borders and things. It's very, I like, I love, love me some fairy tales, right? <laughs> so there's Audrey. Okay. I'm not going to read what's going on in the story here. The Bold Fury. These are the pirate, the, the, Fair, the Fair Sea Pirates. And so I'm uh, I'm guessing that the Bold Fury is the name of a ship. Isn't it fun, guys? Yeah, everybody in chat's loving this. All right, let me just read this. The pirates sailed aboard an 80-foot-long caravel called the Bold Fury. 
It was somewhat small, but swift, despite the 14 cannons, cargo, and 30 crew members who were of different races and genders, most were refugees who couldn't abide living in either Sangre or, wait, Arthril. <laughs> Um, especially as they were wanted by the law. Their ship's flag were designed with symbols that meant the following. A black flag means death. Cannonballs and swords equal we bear arms and cannons. The hourglass, heart, red sand and wings equals time flies. And your life is about to end. <laughs> uh, so you see the little, see the symbols up here? There's the little. And so here's the thing. The hourglass, the red sand with the heart. See, there's a hint on how to color that. I guess I'm going to have to read the castle one before I color, huh? <laughs> We're never too old to believe in fairy tales. There you go, Julie Topaz. And then here's a mermaid. I guess she's rescuing one of the sailors here. That's what it looks like. Again, I haven't read the story. Sea Breeze Village. <clears throat> Look at the detail. It's like, you know, how you see, like, old, old-timey old maps, you know, cartology, cartology, you know, with all the, the sea monsters and the waves and all the stuff. I love that. I love that stuff. And awesome. Okay. And then here is, um, I don't know what the creature is. It's not named here, but it, it's... Um, it looks like, you know, an evil creature under the seaweed, in the seaweed. <laughs> and then here's like a seahorse dragon. Again, I haven't read this, so I'm kind of, this is my first impressions. Yeah, Terry goes, wow, this must have taken a long time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this looks like a seahorse dragon. Then the undersea kingdom of the fair sea guardians. And so here's like a world, like a city in giant like shells. There's little people way down here, like little, um, little, um, what's the, what's the name of the, the Greek god, um, uh, undersea world with the, the Titan, you know. Oh, anyway, I'm, I'm, I, um, I should have, uh, I should have looked into my mythology a little more. <laughs> it took you almost a year. Okay. I can see why. And, but the story, how long did it take you? Five years, you said? Did it take you five years to write the three books, Evie, the trilogy? I think that's what the, that said in the beginning. Okay. Realm Walkers. Realm Walkers. And then here's some different... Uh, here's the Amber Dawn ship right there. <clears throat> are y'all enjoying this? I think y'all are. The Royal Order of Mystics. And there's their coat of arms. Poseidon. Yes, thank you, Francis. That's what it reminded me of. Like little, There's like little guards here, like little Poseidons. I mean, I'm sure they're not <laughs> exactly beside. They're just little tiny. They look like little guards. Little tiny guards right there, see? Yeah, but Poseidon is what I was thinking about. Welcome, Prisma. We're going through a color book by Evie. The artist author is here. The three books are a trilogy, the trilogy of Tierra. But how long? Yeah, but they took you five years, right? <clears throat> to do those? Oh, look at their little faces. I just love it. Maybe I should color this one. I don't know. I think I'll go with the one I picked because I already picked it. Okay. So then this is the Royal Order of the Mystics. Like I said, their coat of arms. Sea Castle. And she's got like little crystals and gears all in here because you know those crystals power the gears. I mean, I don't know, guys. I haven't read the stories. I'm just imagining. It's my first impressions. Thanks, Terry, for the links. And remember, if you're international or if you want it signed, I mean, wait, wait. Let me back up. If you're international, buy it through Amazon. 
because it's it's the shipping cost will be too prohibitive so if you want the book here's the cover again if you want the color book and you're international get it through amazon and if you want a signed copy get it from evie's blog okay all right so here's the sea castle here is all right let's see how we pr pronounce this vaudry is it Vaudry? V-A-W-D-R-E-Y. I'm getting all the pronunciations right from Evie. <laughs> okay, so is that Vaudry or Vaudre? I'm going to write it down. Is it Vaudry or Vaudre? And Nelos. Nelos? I'm waiting for Evie to put me in. Okay, so it is. It's Vaudre. And how is Nelos? N A N A E L O S. Vaudry. Okay, I got that right. Vaudry. Let me put that. I, I'm going to put it in phonetics like she's telling me here. Vaudry and. And the books are on Kindle. Okay, the books are on Kindle. Yeah, she wrote three novels, Prisma. Um, here, let me get the little her little flyer out here. Her three novels here. Well, I know you can't read this, but you know. <laughs> Velos. Oh, wait, Nalos, Nalos, N A Y L O S. Okay, Nalos. It's and it's and it's written N A E L O S. Nalos. I'm putting the pronunciations <laughs> on post-its. And so, Vaudre, Vaudry always faithful and strong and then there's a little map and is this Nalos? oh wait yeah and there's Nalos. size does not matter there's their coat of arms so there's the coat of arms and see they have little symbols for each one you know they have to have their own little symbols <laughs> yeah so the blog is tiara t i a e r a dot blogspot dot com okay I'll put it I'll put the the description I mean I'll put the links in the description box too. Okay. Drade D R A I D Drade Ring. Drade Ring. They're the I think they're the druids, right? The druids can cast portals. I can cast portals with my art. <laughs> Not like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, isn't it fun, guys? Isn't it fun? Okay, so here is a, um, and she says over here the solved puzzle is on the last page. So it's like one of the word, search words. So she has all the words here. It's a search word puzzle. See, now I want to do this right now. I want to do this puzzle right this minute. <laughs> The country of Nalos. Did I say that right? Nalos? Let me see. Let me go back here. Yeah, Nalos. The country of Nalos. And there's a puzzle here. And it's, it's like your typical word search. You know, down, across, horizontal, vertically. You know, she says that here diagonally. And you got to solve the puzzle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I won't mention who said it, but one of the girls says, I can cast portals with my cocktails. <laughs> okay, nightly glamour. So I'm, I'm guessing this would probably be a nice night scene with the, like lunar moths. Lunar moths here. And she gives descriptions of all the characters and everything, guys. Nalosian fays stood about two to three feet tall. They didn't like being mistaken for their six or seven inch cousins. <laughs> There's more to it. So, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay. La Siren Blue or La Sirene. La Sirene, La Sirene Blue. Is it La Sirene Blue? <laughs> I know. It does have a little everything in it. Does and again, there's a whole story going on here. I'm getting good at the names. Okay, so Las Lasserine Blue. <laughs> Don't make me have a French accent. Okay, so here is 
the oh here's a portal keeper here the tyre 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 oh tyrerian enarch <laughs> yeah yeah it is for last three yeah last three is french <laughs> Here is Hilo and Felucia. How do I do that? Is it Hilo or Hilo? I'm guessing Hilo and Felucia. We have to <laughs> T Arian. Okay, T Arian. Yeah, I don't know why it was hard to say that. Okay, let me write that down too. <laughs> T Aaron. T Aaron. T Aaron. There we go. Tieran, you know, you add a plural to me and I'm, I'm done. Okay, Hilo and Felucia. <laughs> hey, Sandra, bye. Or, or, okay. Or I guess you're on the phone. Okay, perfect. Okay, Hilo and Felucia. Okay, that one I, I can kind of sound out. Bright Forge Cottage. It's got some little hot air balloons up there. I hope y'all can see. <laughs> winter fest kiss winter fest kiss it's got a little romance going on here he wrapped his broad arms around her shoulders i'll leave it at that <laughs> hey mel mel this is this is the world of tiara and ev is here <laughs> Evie's the artist and author, and we're just going through it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not reading the whole thing. And um, Astria, the mother goddess. Astria. Or is that Astria? Astra I'm sure it's Astria, right? Or is it could be Astria. I always want to put like some kind of a, you know, special phonetics to things. <laughs> Okay, and then here's some more, either little sprites or fairies here. I'm sure it says over here. And then here's your blank test page. Oh, we don't want to see the answers. I'm going to cover up the answers to the, uh, to the uh, puzzle here. <laughs> ah, Prisma. Okay, and so, yeah. And then here's the back page. Again, it's Tierra. T I A E R A dot blogspot dot com. So if you're international, order from Amazon. But if you want it signed copy, order from her blog. That's what she just said, and she's here. Okay. And so that's the official world world of Tierra coloring book. E V Medina. <laughs> she's laughing at me. All right. So we're gonna go color this page right here. I'll zoom in a little. <clears throat> the Azure Mist Manor. And I'm thinking this, the sky, the sky in Azure Mist is either a blue or a purple. All right. Now, I haven't, uh, I'm going to read, I'm going to read this one here. <laughs> but again, guys, here, here's the thing. If you color something wrong or different, if you color something different than Evie imagined, I don't think Evie's going to email you. So color it however you want. But if you've read her story in the book, she may have some color, you know, color hints. <laughs> but you're the boss of your color book. There's Pat. You got to cut. You color this page. Oh, you're going to color this page, Pat. Yeah, Pat's the one that, right, Pat? Aren't you the one that told me about Evie? Am I right? I'm thinking it's Pat Crochet. Okay. The wind is going outside. Okay. Azure Mist Manor. This charming manor house was the home of Lord and Lady Tilden of Azure Mist. The manor was located several miles east of Moonlight. And light, Moonlight is L-Y-T-E. Um, east of Moonlight City. It comprised of several acres of farmland and a village. Villagers and farm folk worked for the Lord, giving him part of their harvest and paying taxes for using of his land. He judged lawbreakers and, distrib and distributed alms to the poor during hard times. The Lord of the manor was highly feared and respected, 
especially if he was benevolent and shrewd, so that all under his authority would prosper. Okay? So, yeah, so it is, Pat is your sweet lady and friend. Okay. All right, so we're going to color the Azure Mist Manor. And again, I imagine, now I'm going to paint, just saying, I'm going to throw some paint, guys. I'm going to put a piece, and, and, and again, as long as you don't oversaturate any paper, you, you know, again, your alcohol markers are going to go through this or pretty much any book, right? But if you use water medium, whether it's watercolor, um, watered down acrylic or whatever, as long as you don't oversaturate the paper, you're okay. So what you have to do is just make sure that you dry in between. Use more pigment than water. Evie will rock. Do you will rock? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. This castle is from a real castle in France, Evie said. But I embellished it, adding and changing it. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's see what we're going to do here. And I love the little the little um, borders and decorative. It reminds me of illuminated, uh, illuminated calligraphy, which, you know, I love and used to do back in the day. <laughs> I don't do calligraphy really anymore. I mean, I'll do the occasional one, but, you know. So I'm going to go in and zoom in a little more, and I'll just kind of move the book up and down as we go. All right, let me move all these Post-it notes and things out of my way. And, uh, yeah, so let's just see what we can do here in about an hour. An hour. See what we can do in an hour or so. <laughs> All right, so, oh, I, I turned around to get my paint. Okay, so I rearranged my desk like y'all I showed y'all last week, so all my paints are right here in front of me now. But I keep still wanting to spin around and get them from behind me. <laughs> but they're right in front of me. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's get a palette here. And again, I just use coffee lids for palettes. And um, I'll probably do some washes. And then I'll go in and shade on the p shade. All right. So I'm going to, uh, and I'll do this separate because I am going to want to, or maybe I could probably do a wash right over everything here like a path. There's grass here. <clears throat> and then I'll go back over the words with like a gel pen. Oh no, you know what I'll use? I'll use one of my uh, glitter, glitter gels. Let's see. Are my glitter gels in here? You know, star gel. What are they called? Star, you know, the ones with the shooting star on them. Star gels. <clears throat> Jelly roll star gels. I got a couple, two, three colors of those. So we'll probably glitter the name. In purple, maybe. Do I have purple glitter? I think I have. Oh, I do. I hope the purple glitter still works. <laughs> we'll do purple glitter. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> let's start with the sky, which I want to do in a purple as well. Like a, instead of like black, we're going to do like a purple. Let's see. What color purple do I want? Do I want? Hmm, or maybe. Yeah, let's go with dioxazine purple. Okay, now I'm getting in the art mode. Yeah, the Sakura Stardust. Yeah, they're the Jelly Roll. Stardust. Thank you, May. Stardust. And they have the little shooting star on them, and that means they write glitter. So that's what we're going to go for. All right, so let's put out a little. Oh, and I need some. Um, well, I got this cardstock. I think I want. Well, as long as I'm careful. Oh, well, this isn't going to go off the edge. I'll just kind of fade that out. I'll probably put some mist because it's Azure Mist. So we'll put mist. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's get. I got a whole new set of brushes last week. And they're just the Michaels Craft Smart brand, which these are great for color books and all that. I got all of these are normally just regular price. All of these, eight bucks. But I had a 40% off coupon, so I got them like for like five dollars for all these brushes. Now they're not. You know, they'll last a good bit, but you're not going to, you know, want to do your, just, you know, they're craft brushes, okay? Uh, oh, thanks, crusty brush. <laughs> My ring, yeah. All right. Now, there, she's got little stars here, right? But I, and y'all know, when I do little bubbles or stars, now these two I'll go around. But all these little stars and the, the clouds here, 
you know, I always say, now this is kind of funny, guys. I always tell you, <clears throat> don't be afraid to do someone else's color book, you know, whosoever it is, because the artist will not email you if you do it wrong. I've never had the artist actually watch me color their page. So now Evie doesn't have to email me. She might be going tisk tisk right here. No, I don't think she'll do that. But I think it's funny that uh, I think it's funny that I actually have the artist here, right? Okay, so let me move my water a little closer. <laughs> no, she won't. Okay. All right, so I get all the excess water out of my brush. Now this is not. I really want a. I think I want. Let me get a. Angle brushes are my favorites because you can get a line, you can get a straight line, you can get a flat, you can get a dot, you can just get so much. If, if I had to recommend one kind of brush, do my own magic, okay, Evie, <laughs> it, it would be an angle brush, okay, in a few different sizes. And I've already got paint and stuff all over my hands. Okay, so I'm going to start by, I want this solid. Well, you know what? Maybe I don't. Maybe I want it a little bit because I don't have an edge, right? So maybe I'll, I will just do the azure, you know, like a sky like this. Because I'm going to put white, and this is full strength paint, no water. Now remember, guys, if you add water, that's where you're, and it probably will buckle some. Y'all know that doesn't bother me when my pages buckle some. Okay, but just be aware, you'll probably buckle some. And I'll put glows around the planets, or the stars, or the moons. Okay. Hope y'all can see. And again, if there's any little dot stars, or clouds that are here on the page, I'm just going right over them because you'll see what I'm going to do here. I'll do the whole sky first before we do anything else. And my my planet's not exactly round there, but I'm going to go around it, right, with, um, I'll go around it with a white pencil. And the benefit of using acrylic paint, well, really any paint, but especially acrylic paint, is it gives your page some tooth. And with that tooth, you can go over with your, uh, like Prismacolors, what's my, you know, favorite pencil of choice, but. Nervous on the spot. No, Pat, I'm not going to be nervous. Don't make me nervous, Pat. I wasn't nervous till you said something. <laughs> Pat, are you nervous? Well, I wasn't. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not nervous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going right off the edge of the page here, and that's why I got this card stock behind here, right? <laughs> oh, hey, CB. So if you're just joining us, CB or anyone else, I'm coloring in the world of Tierra. And it's by Evie Medina, and she is here in the chat. And we've been talking about her her uh, books and her color book that she did based on her books. So let's see here. Get on top of those turrets and... Up there, let's go over on this side. Something like this. A little darker right up here. Right up to the border, sorta. Yeah. I'm gonna put a link to this video today. Oh, oh, Evie, that's nice. Evie's going to put a link to this on her blog. Well, you better wait and see if it turns out first. <laughs> I won't hold you to it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to clean my brush here. Now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun and dry it, okay? <laughs>
You always want to make sure everything's dry in between layers. And also make sure everything's dry before you put any pencil to it. Okay? But I'm going to put, let me get white now. Let me see. I, got, I keep looking behind me for my paints when, because I moved them all right here in front of me now. Okay, so I'll put on a little white here. Let me get, get this open here because I got a crusty bit. <laughs> let me uh, have faith. Yeah, let me get a, a baby wipe. Keep my hands clean here. Okay. After this segment, guys, after we color this, I'm going to do another segment for the day. So I have Happy Mail, and I'm going to do a Society of Idea Collectors segment. Um, and that's, you know, so far we've just got heavy rain. And as long as we have electricity and everything, which seems to be fine so far. Aw, thanks, Evie. I appreciate that. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure my brush is dry again and pick up some of the white. And I'm going to put, you know what I think I'll do with the baby wipe. Let me go ahead and do this with the baby wipe because I can do it gentler. So I just kind of mash some acrylic paint into the baby wipe. I'm kind of mashing it in, right? <clears throat> and then I'll go in here and you can make softer mist and, and fogs. And I got a little too much there, so let's kind of wipe that back. Um, you can make it softer if you do it with a baby wipe than a brush. So I'm just going to kind of go in here. probably right over that moon too like that and if you get too much you know why go back in there with some I can go back in here and pick up purple and get back in there and kind of smooth out blend out something like that. and I'm and you see I just went right over that castle tour it that's okay because pencil will go over that okay so something like that now, let me try to get in the crevice here. You know, it's always a little tricky to get inside any color book um, edge. There we go. All right, so I'm kind of liking that. Um, now I'm going to dry it again. Are y'all having fun with this book? It's like a medieval fairy tale in another world. I want to do that on the art cards. Yeah, try it. Try it on a test one. Uh, and now, Connie, are you Connie? You? Are you? Which Connie are you, Connie? Because I got Happy Mail to show from Connie you on the next segment. But we have more than one Connie, so I'm not sure which Connie you are. Are you Connie you? Connie 451? All right, so now I'm going to get my white pencil. Y'all know we do rabbit trails here. <laughs> All right, where's my pencil sharpener? Oh, thanks, Prisma. You already like it. Okay, good. All right, now I'm going to take my white pencil. Hope Are y'all, are we zoomed in enough? Elsie, I'm loving this even. Looks doable. It is regular. It is easily doable. What do y'all think I've been doing? I show y'all every tip and technique I possibly can. Everything I know I try to show you guys for seven years. So, yes. Okay, Connie, for a video. So, Connie, we have not done. I waited to do your Happy Mail segment after I do this color book segment because you said you were, you know, didn't know if you could get up in time. <laughs> so we haven't done your happy mail yet connie but i will show this guy just just as a i know it's a rabbit trail but hey that's what we do here right okay <laughs> back to the medieval world <laughs> see i told you evie you may you may want to wait to see if you want to put this on your blog all right, so now I'm going to, like, put a nice little glow around the planets or the moons or the stars. See, look, see how that just makes it, like, glow? <laughs> see how that just makes it glow? You didn't know that. You didn't know that uh, Andy Warhol 
was on one of these planets, did you, Evie? <laughs> you didn't know that was going to be a happening. Okay, so, and then I'll put a little extra, like, big swirls. See, look how that makes it look like it's glow. See, just a little bit of extra glow around there. <laughs> okay, and then we might have a little bit extra, like, coming across, like, some mist coming right across the top. Like that? What do y'all think? Something like this. So there's our Azure. And I don't know, if, is Azure is really blue, isn't it? <laughs> but I wanted it a purpley color. <laughs> you fell back asleep, Connie? Oh my gosh, get up, girl! Wake up! What the heck was that? No, it's not eyes done, it's... <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, thanks for the nice, it's a nice glow, Terry. No, it was Andy Warhol. Oh my gosh, girls. But I do have an eye, it's a finger puppet. Let me put my finger on it. Um, I do have a um, an Einstein something too that Connie sent, but we'll get to that in a little while. <laughs> Julie Tobes said Andy Warhol was always on his own planet, even when he was on Earth. There you go. Yeah, see, Azure is more blue, but I'm, I, I went with purple. In my world here, I'm creating this world from Evie's story. It's purple. <laughs> okay, so now let's see. Sip a coffee. And now I'm going to do some... I'm going to put some green forest around it. And see, look, there's nothing here. Her, her forest looks like she has a little mist. So we can add mist to the forest too, but I'm going to base wash it with some like olive green. So let's see. I keep wanting to look behind me for the, you know. All right, so let's get a nice pretty, let's get a light. Let's go with light avocado. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of light avocado down. I always put way more paint. That's why you need your magazine journals. Yes, I'm the boss of my color book, even though Evie, the artist, is here. <laughs> Don't email me, yeah. Okay, so this the, this is when you want to scrape up all your extra paint, right, and put it in your magazine journals. Or, well, any art journal, just to use that paint up. Okay, so now let me get my brush again, and I'm going to... Add a little bit of water, just a tiny bit. I'm going to squirt just some clear water, just a little bit there on the side. Now remember, all this is dry paint. When you see this, I'm not squirting water on orange or, you know, this is all dry paint. There's some water in the white there, but. Uh, so I'm just going to water down, water down the uh, olive so you still see the trees through. If you do something solid, you're going to get rid of the details, right? <clears throat> And so you want it watered down so that you still see, let me get my paper out here, so that you still see through it. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how little water I'm using I'm, I'm, and how little paint. It's so little, guys, because you don't want to go through. So I'm okay. Now, I did get some on the edge there, but it's not going through. Because I'm being very careful. If you need another layer, if you want to add more green, darker green, then dry. I know I repeat, but dry, dry, dry in between. And then you can put another layer, right? But it has to be dry. Or you're going to go through these thinner pages. Something like that. And there's some little bushes right there. There's a tree over here. I'm going to do all of it just with one color of olive wash. The link above is Pat's rendition. Oh, okay. Uh, Pat, you're you're on, uh, can you put it on Twitter? Aren't you on Twitter, Pat? Are you on Twitter, Evie? So even though there's some mist, that Evie drew on here. I'm going over it now just to get the base on here.
and then this bushes here and the trees and there's some vines growing up at the castle something like that now again I'm not don't want to scrub I don't want to over wet so I'm gonna dry now <laughs> Terry goes you repeat <laughs> uh, if, if you mixed Andy Warhol and Bob Ross what would he look like hmm Bob Ross with white hair and red glasses maybe <laughs> All right, so let's dry. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the, um, like the foreground here, I I'm going to do it kind of an ochre. And also the thatched roof here and a little bit of the awning I'm going to do that in ochre and then I think I'm going to do a wash of like a uh, sienna orange and then everything else will go in with pencils okay and then and, and here I want to do a purple glitter pen on there and then I'll think about I haven't thought about you know after we get everything colored I'll see what we can do about the borders and I'll zoom way in when we do that Okay, so now let me get out some yellow ochre. I keep wanting to look behind me. i got to get used to my paints being back in front of me again. Okay, so I'm going to get out a little ochre color. And I'm just using, um, I'm using uh, Americana craft paints. They're just deco art Americana craft paints. You can, you know, get them for under a buck. <laughs> you know. So, hey, Samurai. Anybody else I missed? Okay, so if you're just joining us, we're coloring in the official World of Tierra coloring book by Evie Medina, who is in the chat. When She said, when I designed the coloring book, I didn't want to leave the backs of the illustration. Yeah, I think that's awesome that you put story on the back. Let me move my color thing. So, see, she put the story is on the back. <clears throat> All right, look, right there, I got it a little wet. Okay, so you got to be careful. Don't over wet. But look, it didn't get, didn't, oh, right here. So, you just got to be real careful. It's right here is where I got it over wet. Right there. You got to be careful. Okay, so I did a little blurb to describe the illustration. Yeah, exactly. In the gray, large lettering. Yeah, like here. Azure Mist, I mean Azure Mist Manor, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to get just a tiniest bit of water in with my um, yellow ochre, okay. And again, it really, you know, that doesn't bother me if it's just a little bit like that. Um, this is thin paper, guys, so, you know, I can still read all right, I'm going to put just a tiny bit more water in there just to go right over the letters. Because I'm once that's dry, I'm going to go over that with the gel pen. Where's my water? I just need a little dab squirt. So be careful. And again, I have a piece of cardstock behind here. More paint, less water, unless you're doing a wash. And then just try, just be careful. Don't email me if it goes through a little, because it might. <laughs> okay, so that's all I just want. Just a little, because I'm going to go over this with pencil, guys. And if you put no water in it, like like I did up here on the purple and the white, I put no water. Look, none of that went through. Nothing came through there. You see a little shot ghost from the, like, see-through but it did not come through there because there's no water in that. I put a little water in this. Okay. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to put down here. Just that because I want to be able to, you know, have the words stand out. All right. So now I'm going to go back up here. I don't even really need any water in the thatched roof here. It's really windy out. It's raining and windy here. We're just south of Atlanta. Y'all know that the... And it's just been downgraded to a tropical storm. 
So we'll have winds and stuff probably through o overnight until tomorrow. But, you know, the, fi the paper's 55 pound, thicker than normal, typewriter paper. And, but yeah, like she says, she gives you a test page in the back. <clears throat> There's actually a couple pages back there you can test. All right, then this little awning over here, I'm going to do it in. And the little doors down here, because they're, they're like wood here. And maybe this door too, just to put a base coat. Again, you can add more detail. Um, let's see what else here. Um, I think I'll leave that. Now that could be kind of a thatchy looking something on the those double windows. And I guess I'll go ahead and put some on the little windows itself because there'll probably be light coming out of there. We can even put a glow, guys. After we paint and you do everything, you can, on top of paint, just like we did here, the glow around the, the moons or the planets, you can do that and make a glow come out of windows. Dry brush painting is doable. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, but you got to be a little careful with the water. Although, look, that was fine right there, but you got to be careful. Okay, so I think now, I think I'm going to do some, and I should just probably do this with pencil too, but I, since I have the paint here, the tops of the castle turret, you know, things here, I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on there too. Just tap it in a little bit on the windows. Like that, because it's tiny. You know, it, it is tough. It is tough. You want to just almost do washes with the brush, and then go in with pencil to do the detail. But you know, all right. So there we go. Let's hold that up so you can see how far. Okay. Now let me get out a sienna. Let's see. Do I want? To tra tra traditional brown sienna and um, the new deco art Americanas have deco art real big on the top the other ones let me get another one here it's a newer one let me find one that's older here see that how the change in the uh, packaging but here's let me give tell you all this too do not buy satin or gloss now it doesn't say matte on here but if it doesn't say satin and gloss, it's matte. Satin and gloss acrylic paints will resist your pencil. Same for metallics. Okay. Okay, so Evie says she used freehand drawing and PC drawing for many of the illustrations. If I wanted a straight line and curves, I scan the drawing and use Adobe Photoshop and Publisher to draw with. Yeah. I'm reading everything Evie posts, so just, so, you know, we have her here. We might as well grill her. I mean, ask polite questions. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put out a drop of the sienna. And again, I'm, I think, that, well, let me put just a tiny bit of water on the side here to, to pull into. All right. All right, so I just want a tiny bit of water because I'm going to put a wash of this sienna on the whole castle here. Okay, let's just do it do it gently here. Could have a little bit more paint. As long as you can see through it. Because you want to be able to see the details, right? And just don't keep keep going over and over and over it. That's what's gonna peel and saturate your paper. Keep it as few strokes as possible if you're using the paint. Just kind of, you know, get it on there, dry it, and then if you want more, after you dry it. <clears throat> the color of the lid lets you know what kind of paint it is. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, like, let me see, I have a satin one here somewhere. I don't know. Here's a satin one. And here's a matte one, and they both have dots on them. I wouldn't trust that. 
that would be uh <laughs> i keep those the satin and gloss and metallics in another drawer i don't keep those here because i'll be the first one to accidentally pick it that up oh wait i need it do i want a thatch roof on this one too i think i do i want that to be thatched too let me clean my brush let's go back to the yellow ochre here let's do this roof too And that's just an edge of the roof there, so I'm not going to color it. Okay, there we go. No, the satin has a oh, the satin has a black lid. Oh, okay. I thought you were meant, talking about the dot on the top, Connie. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they do have a black lid, and I don't know what the metallics have. We'll look at that. Okay, so there's a satin. That's just a matte. Let's see what a metallic has by the same people. Well, the metallics just have the same color, so be careful. Of course, look, it says metallic, so huge. It's not like you're going to miss that. But yeah, thanks, Jean. Thanks, Connie. That's why I keep them in a separate drawer, because I will miss it. Hi, <laughs> Miss Vicki B. All right, so if you're just joining us, Miss Vicki B or anybody else, we're coloring in the official world of Tierra by E.V. Medina, who is in the chat. And we're grilling her. I mean, asking polite questions. All right, so now let me go back and get a nice little sienna wash. Again, I'm trying not to scrub it in. Just trying to get a nice, gentle coat. Right? At least initially. If I want another darker coat, then I'll let this dry. And then, let's see. And same thing for all these little details around the window. I'll go over those. Because you can go, pencil will go over acrylic. Just saying. And those some of those details might be cool in gold or something. Or in the purple. <gasps> in the purple metal, or the purple glitter. Maybe, maybe. Okay. So let's come down here. Let's get a nice, because we can color in the details separate on top. I hope I'm staying in camera here. So yeah, we got the we got the hurricane downgraded to a tropical storm going on outside or south of Atlanta. And it's not, you know, it's windy, but it's raining. It's raining. It'll probably rain for two days, today and tomorrow. Okay. So something like that. Now I'm going to dry. Before I add any more layers or anything. And there is a little buckling, but again, in this case, especially when there's just words on the back, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me anyway, but just to know, there's a little bit of buckling. And But I found, guys, even like when I've done in the uh, Magimorphia and Anamorphia and those books, um, if by the time you get both sides painted or colored and pencil over them and everything, the buckling is like so minimal. It's like very, very little buckling if you color both sides. So anyway, and then, you know, um, pencil is going to be on top of this in a minute. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead now. And let's move the paints out of the way so that I can bring out pencils. Let's put that there. Here, my purple over here. Move the brushes. And get out some pencils. So what do y'all think so far? But always remember, it's, it's a good idea to get in the habit in any kind of color book to put you a piece of heavy card stock behind your page no matter what. You made the words big so there's there's bleed through you can still read them. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Evie. 
All right, so I want to move all this and get to my pencils now. And again, go to her blog. Um, if you're if you're international, well, go to her blog anyway, just to look around and see about her uh, trilogy. But if you want to order the color book, if you're international, order the color book from Amazon, and I'll make sure and put a link to both her blog and Amazon in the description box. Um, but if you order from her blog and you're not international, she'll sign it and send you a, a signed copy. Okay? All right, so now let's go back down here and go to the castle. And I'm going to get out a sienna, a dark brown, and a tan, probably. Uh, let's just go with that. Because it's small. It's a small area. You know, you don't have to over. You can do, well, you can do as much detail as you want, but you don't have to. Okay, is that dark brown? Dark brown. Okay, so i got dark brown, a sienna, and uh, what is this, tan or something, peach? Or is it just ginger root? Anyway, it's a, it's a tan color to use for a little bit of highlight. And then plus, I'll probably pull in some of my either Posca or Sharpie. So let me show you all that. In case you're watching on the blog and you're not a color book person, um, either a Posca white paint pen. And they come in different points. This is kind of, I think it's, this one's fine, but it's not extra fine. Or a Sharpie water-based paint pen for those bright, bright highlights. And you can, and Evie said that she can, she'll even dedicate a copy if people want to buy like for gifts or anything, but make sure and tell her. And she takes um, checks and credit cards. Do you take PayPal? Maybe that, maybe that might be important to some people, Evie. Do you take PayPal too? Okay, so now I'm going to go in here with the dark brown, sharp. Make sure my pencils are sharp. And I'm going to start. Now, now I think I will zoom in some so y'all can see some of the detail. Okay, let's see if we can focus a little better. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right. She does take PayPal. Okay, thanks, Pat. Her BFF, Pat. Pat's the one that told me about her. Okay, so now I'm going to start. I'll tilt just a little so you can see. I'm going to start shading the darkest areas, like right under the roof line. And, you know, if you want to do faux, like, brick look, you know, you could do something like here. Let's see what can do this. I'm just going to start shading. I'm going to start with just the front front face here first. Because I'm going to do a couple shades of brown. Like right along the window here. See how I'm just going right over the top of the paint? And the paint in the background gives you the background color. Probably around some of this bit here. And you can you can spend as much time or detail as you want, you know. And then I'll go in here with the sienna color and just kind of blend a little. And then I might add some little stonework like detail. Now I'm not gonna do all I don't want to do it like a solid brick like because then it'll look like I mean, I guess you could, tiny, tiny bricks. But I'm going to do essence of brick, or essence of stone. So you just get the idea that it's there. Okay, so I'm just kind of going around some of the... And again, I can still see all the filigree work around the window, which I can get in there with either a Posca. And remember, if you use one of these to do detail... Once it's dry, it's paint, it's acrylic paint. Once it's dry, then you can go over that with another color. So if you want some of that fine, fine detail, you can get that with your paint pens and then paint over it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go in here, kind of blend and shade. I want it kind of not, I want it kind of modely looking, right? Because it's a like stone. 
All right, so I'm going to come down here. <clears throat> I'm going to do the whole front, then I'm going to put in some little stone like indications, like come around the window here, give the, the window some little oomph. You know, you could do that on all of them. Because it's little, guys. This is tiny. Tiny business. <laughs> See, look how little this is. It's the size of the tip of your pencil. You could market artist fragrances. <laughs> Essence of brick. I'm not the one that made that up. The essence of, like, essence of people, essence of this. Uh, Artistic Biker Blade is the one that um, I got that from. He would say, I'm not going to draw people. I'm just going to draw essence of people. Yeah. <laughs> that's from that's from Blade. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just going to a little shading here. Maybe up the sides of the stairs to have them kind of stand out and maybe around the window here a little bit or the door rather oh, let's get back in here and I'm just going to shade a little bit now I'm going to go in here with the sienna again Maybe a little under each one of those little, there's a name for those, the little things that hold up the ironwork. I have a whole book on that. I have a whole book on ironworks. Um, yeah, there's a lot of essence of everything in watercolor, Jean. Exactly, exactly. All right, so I'm going to just kind of make it a little model like you know not I'm making it imperfect on purpose like okay like that now what I'm going to do is take my dark brown and just probably put in some like maybe it, let me sharpen really well though I want it tiny I want some little lines and some little maybe some little a couple of stone like I'll show you like some little L shapes but I don't want them perfect. I just want a few here and there just so you get the idea that they're, they're stone work. Even though stone's usually gray, this is our world. We can we can have brown stone. Brown stone. There we go. See, just some little, see, just some little bits there. And then you can take your highlighted one and go on the other side and just have a few, like, little indications. I don't want to overdo. Let me go back with the sienna. I just want a little bit, just so your eye kind of fills in, that it's stone or big bricks, either one, a few lines and a few L's, just a little bit of texture. All right, so this needs a little darker under here. And the other thing too, like this iron work right here, if you, if it's, and this is true of any color book. Uh, pupils and eyes, um, you know, things that are like the windows here that are solid black. The ink from the printing of the book is very rarely solid black. So, and same thing for around windows or doors or um, uh, solid black, things that you want solid black that loses the, <clears throat> the darkness of the ink. I'm going to go right along this grass right here with just a little bit of this sienna color. I'm going to keep this really light. I just want a little bit of path um, dirt like here. Just a few little indication of some like that. Something like that. And I can go back in here with some yellow ochre or a, you know, a uh, and, you know, get a little bit more now, I don't want to I don't want to pencil over the words if I pencil over the words my gel pen might resist the wax in the pencil so I'm not going to get the pencil on top of the words here because remember I want to glitter that up hopefully <laughs> we'll see hopefully that I haven't tested that uh, purple pen to even make sure it works all right <clears throat> so now <coughs> I think I'm going to take my uh, yellow ochre here and I might just do a little bit of blend here and there. 
it looks too pencil-y which is kind of really good in this case because it's like stone or a brick like look and you really don't want it smooth as um, skin you want it some texture in there but I'm just kind of blending in some of those areas now oh what I was saying with the black is let me get a sharpie a black sharpie pen so for those tiny little areas that you want to pop the black back out you can do it with your color pencil of course <clears throat> I need a sip of coffee where's Hubster I need him to come bring me some more coffee okay so you can take a black pencil in some of the areas like these windows I can get in there I can get in there with the black pencil pretty easily right which I shouldn't be doing these yet because I'm not done blending but um, you got to be careful if you do this <clears throat> with your pencil that you remember that you put pencil there because you start shading color over that you're going to smear your black what I was going to say though is in tiny tiny areas I use a sharpie pen not a sharpie marker a sharpie pen and I think you can also use a um, Faber-Castell pit pen tiny 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 and then you can get in here like let me just go around this well let me finish coloring the all right let me do this area where there's black and you want to reestablish any blacks or like filigree or like these um, what do you call it uh, ironworks I'm just going back over it with the pit with the uh, sharpie pen so it kind of gets those blacks vibrant again because the the ink from your color the printing of the color book is never I think I've only seen one color book where it's as black as black can be so you can you see the difference right there see where I went inside the windows there with the black and the and the little um, iron works here let me just put a couple extra little marks there because it just doesn't stand out all right let me give you may, maybe a more dramatic okay see those little the little crosses and little shapes that are above the windows there I'm gonna go just shadow those and I'm gonna shadow them with the pen just so you can see see how it the black You, you ordered a dozen Flint Rock, Rebecca? Yeah. Okay, so I want to get some of these other details. And then, because this is what the kind of thing you want to do at, after you've colored everything. And I'm not done coloring on those doors and windows yet. But this is the kind of thing that you want to do, like, after you get everything done. Add this on top. Because here's the reason why. Let's just say I wasn't done coloring this. And I started going in here with my yellow ochre or another color then I'm covering back up what I've already done so you want yeah it makes a detail pop so you want to do this at the very end after you've already got your color on there all right so I think I want some pur I want a purple door and I want let me see I think I'm wondering if let me do a little test let's see how do I want to do this let's make sure the purple pins working <laughs> okay so the glitter pin let me just do a little thing here this is a purple jelly roll stardust glitter pin now, I don't know if I can capture it it's so dark in here today because of the rain but this is a glitter pin I can see the glitter but you probably can't see it on camera but what I want to do is I want to see if this is going to be light enough if in other words if I go on top of this it, yeah okay it's going to work because what I want to do is if this wasn't going to work, I was going to put a base of, whoop, I was going to put a base of white Posca down first and see if the glitter pin would go over the Posca. But it's working. Now after I do this, this may show up on camera. We'll see. I'm also going to do the door and those windows right, the door and that, some axe on the window in the glitter as well. Now, 
the only thing with glitter is it doesn't photograph very well. Uh, I can tilt it in the camera and you might be able to see some of the glitter. But when I take a picture of this, you're not going to be able to see the glitter unless I take it at an angle. Okay, let me check up here. You're enjoying how I'm doing this page? Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. It's nice to have the artist here. And I hope she's in, having fun in the chat. It's a great group of gals here. And once in a while, a guy. We have a couple guys. They don't come in very often, but we have a few guys. I never did see if you were on Twitter, um, Evie. Are you on Twitter? I'll kind of watch because there's a lag in chat, so I have to kind of keep an eye on it when I ask a question. You're enjoying it very much? Oh, good. Okay, good. I'll show the cover of the book again here in a second. Oh, you are. Okay. Le Leafy Greens 08. Okay, let me write that down. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. <laughs> oh, so I can find you. EV Twitter. Okay. And I'll post this on, uh, I'll link you and post this on Twitter, too, if you don't mind. Just fantastic. Oh, thanks, guys. So here's the cover of the book again. World of Tierra. And this is based on her trilogy. She has a trilogy, a story. Okay, so let's see if we can catch the shine or the glitter. Not sure I can catch the glitter. There we go. We got it. There it is, people. There it is. <laughs> there's the glitter from the star gel the stardust I think it's stardust jelly roll there we go you can see it there see isn't that awesome and you can tell the jelly roll stardust ones because they have a star a shooting star on the cap that's how you can tell Oh, that's on Yahoo, not on Twitter. Oh, okay. Well, are you on Twitter? I missed it again. I missed it. Are you on Twitter? I don't want people to go follow the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, so that shows up good. So what I'll do is I'm going to do some of these details in that as well. Probably this one and gold. So we'll do gold and purple in the filigree here. All right, so back up here. Oh, the door. I want to do the door in purple. Or the door um, outline. The door sides and filigree stuff, you know, edges. Maybe the maybe I want to round the whole thing. Let's just go around the whole door. Let's make the door nice and um, stand out. Okay. So let's see if you can see the purple. Is it is on Twitter as well? Okay, I did have the right thing on Twitter. Thanks, Evie. All right. Now let's look at the door. Let's see if we can see. Look. <gasps> look at the glittery door. Okay, now some of the I, I want to go back, but I do want to get in here with some white. Let me go. Let me go with the. It doesn't matter. There's some areas of detail that kind of got a little lost with the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in here with the white, 
and then what I'll do as soon as this dries then I can go in there with a color all right so same thing for the edges of these windows here I'll show you all right so it looks very harsh white right now you see how bright that is I can't get much closer because I'm so zoomed in as it is but I'm going to do that with all the windows but I don't want to do this yet this is like final detail stuff and I really shouldn't be doing this until <laughs> everything else is colored but once that's dry then I can go in there on top of it all right now I want to go back with the purple about around this window too around the edges of the window and up into some of the filigree bits and then I'll also go in there with white highlights and I guess I'll go around this window too and then I'll go back in here this is tiny business people tiny business very tiny business okay I think I'll put a little highlight on this can y'all hear the wind out there okay and again it will be um, once it's dry see how the white makes it pop the black and the white see especially in there now once that dries that's when I can go in there I think I want it around this window that's when I can go back in there with color over the top of the white how time we got I gotta check my time here guys we only have two okay we still got time okay I want to I don't know that we're gonna finish this a hundred percent so um, but I'll finish it sometime today and post the finished picture but I don't know if we're gonna finish it in two hours we got about 30 45 minutes to go two hours and 15 minutes or so I don't want to rush it though you know okay all right so now let me go in here I think I'll go in here with my black let's see because some of this is very little look guys look at the point of this pin see how little some of these details are so I'm gonna go here on the side of the stairs and just get a couple of those shaded in like that and maybe we'll have a little bit of light coming out the door something like that okay all right let's let that sit and dry let me come up let me come around here on the rest of the castle with the dark brown let's get some more done here but like around the windows and everything we can add white highlight and go back and it'll keep it nice and bright all right so maybe on the turret tops do I want that purple too I think I do I think I want these turret tops to be glitter Let's make sure my pin keeps working here is that the purple do I have the right one? Oh no that's that's different that's silver I want purple here we go so we're going to do some glittery details on the azure mist manor right okay hang on guys I'm not looking at chat for a minute I want to get this glittered up and I'll tilt it so you can see okay right here and do all these big details here with glitter purple glitter purple glitter people I stand in camera and I know it's tiny and it doesn't have to be glitter you can just use a gel pen or shiny or whatever you got you know but I do like these stardust star glitter Okay, let's see 
I think I'm going to outline the, I think this over here would be the little, the, um, you know, in the medieval days, the, the manors had their own personal chapels. I think this might be the chapel. I'm not sure. We can ask Evie. Is that the chapel? The manor chapel over here. And let's see. I think I might even go around these windows right here. What the heck? with the purple. Let's go ahead and glitter those windows up there too. All right. And then this door over here, maybe. Got that. Okay. I've got another turret up here. And I'm going to have to outline this in white because it's going to get lost up there in the sky. All right. Let's just get some purple glitter on this baby. Then we'll go around it with the white. Okay, so let me hold it up so you can see. I miss what Pat says. She sh oh, yes, that's what I say. I tell myself when y'all hear me go, shh, shh, shh. I'm not telling you guys to be quiet. I'm, I'm hushing myself. Okay, let's see if we can get some lucky there. <gasps> oh, oh. Don't make me sing look at the glitter okay then we got some up here see isn't it awesome what this pen does and then over here on the little chapel it works for you okay <laughs> in my world it's a chapel <laughs> That's what they used to have them in the medieval days, you know. All right. Now, I don't know what I did with the cap to this pen. Did I lose it somewhere? Where'd it go? Did I drop it? Let me feel with my feet. I don't know. This is my pen. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. All right. So, now let's get back over here with my sienna and dark brown. Start doing a little bit more shading here. Coloring. Oh, wait. I missed that door with purple. See, then you want to go crazy with it. I think I went around this window already. I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, I'm dark brown. Okay, let's go in here with the sienna and do a little shading, blending, maybe around those windows a little. So are y'all liking this? Again, let me show you the cover in case. Oh, thanks guys. I'm glad you're liking it. Come back down here with some dark. Maybe there's some behind these trees. It's a little darker in there. There's a little tree trunk right there. And I see little things that I'm going to add white and darker black in here. But I want to get, let's get, I want to get all the penciling done first and then I'll get back in here with detail so you really want to get your base done here right and again I want to kind of keep it not flat I want to keep it so that it's model -y like but I'm going to try to get a little hustle on here because we're going to run out of time and I want to get more done I want to get more done okay let's make it shadowed right there 
on that side. Can y'all see okay? Can y'all see something, I hope? Because I'm pretty zoomed in. It's a tiny page, guys. It's tiny. You know, it's a little bitty castle. You like it when the magic happens? <laughs> Thanks, Pat. All right, go in here with the little sienna. Yeah, I want to get some of the details with the white and the black and all that in here. You know, y'all saw some of the purple, but I want other uh, highlighted areas. have to do the thatched roofs and all that. All right, let's see. Let's just put a little shadow in there. Okay, let's go over here. Again, some little lines, some little L's, just some little, you know, indication of some kind of brickwork or stonework or something going on. Okay. Okay, now, hmm, a little bit right here. So what do y'all think so far? Let me do the roof. All right, so I'm going to use yellow ochre and probably some kind of a, I don't want the exact same brown. Let's go with a, um, it's a green ochre. It's just kind of a little bit different shade. So we can go in there. Yeah, the coloring book, if y'all missed it, the coloring book is based on her medieval fantasy trilogy, World of Tierra. All right, now I'm going to go in here with this kind of an, it's kind of an olive green, but I'm, I just really want it for some little thatchy looking. I don't know if the, this actual roof like this would have kind of, but it's going to be these colors, whether it's thatched or not. This side I see kind of as a thatched. I'm not sure if this would be thatched, but I'm kind of imagining it thatched. And anytime you don't know what something looks like, like the stone or thatch roofs. You can always just Google it and look what those look like if you want it more authentic. But again, this is pretty tiny, so I'm not really kind of really going for accuracy because it's so tiny. But I think it's pretty good. Now I'm going to go over it with the yellow ochre and just kind of blend that in. So thanks, Evie, for hanging out with this. I'm glad you got to come over and, and hang it with us live. See how the yellow ochre knocks it back a little bit? And again, you can leave some of the paint area showing through. But even if you cover up the whole painted area, you have a base to work on top of. All right, now here's where I'm going to take my white uh, Sharpie or Posca. And I'm going to go in and, and just like I kind of did that door right there, see where it's still white? I'm going to go in here. Yeah, for teens and adults, okay? I'm going to go in here now and start highlighting some of the areas that I really want to stand out that might have got a little lost. but very lightly. I mean, I'm barely touching. I'm just picking out like maybe the sides of these windows here. This one needs a little arch on it. And then once this paint is dry, I can go back in here with that col with a color, whatever color go in here and knock back the white, okay?
Oh, I missed this little area over here. This little. Are you going to bring me some more coffee? I do. I have a package. Oh, bring it up. <laughs> Hubster just came in. You got a package just came. Bring it on up. We'll do that on the next segment. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What else do I want? Uh, around this window here. So if you lose any detail... You can go in there and pick it back out with the white and then go back in there and knock it back with color. So I'm just kind of going over the whole thing. I still got to do the trees and I got to do a lot, but you know, trying to get as much done as I can. Okay, let's go around these windows over here. Just a little. All right, so now look at all the areas I added white. See all the areas that make it stand back out? Oh, wait. It needs a little bit right in here, too. It needs a little, like, where the rail is being held up. I want that in a gold color, I think. Something like that. See where I went in with all the white? And don't forget, we got glitter on there, too. See? All right, now I'm going to hit it with a heat gun just to make sure it's 100% dry. Ooh, a package from Amazon. <laughs> well, they're going to have to wait. We're going to wait. Let's see. It's, if it's from somebody, if it's a gift from somebody, then uh, that it's inside. So we'll have to wait. Just wait for it. Okay, thanks for the coffee, honey. Oh, that's right, Evie. Thank you. The stars. Yes. Don't forget the stars. Thank you. I can see them. See, I haven't got to yet. Okay. So I'm going to add some. And you can splatter this, too, if you want to make it look more natural. But I'm just going to pop the stars in. And I'll put a couple with glow. Hang on. I'm just going to jot some in here. I can still see a couple, so I'm going over the top of those. But I'll show you how I'm going to do a couple of bright stars here. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap in the stars with the purple. And don't make them, if you do stars, guys, like do clusters. Don't just space them out perfectly because then it won't look natural. I mean, you can do what you want, but you know. All right, so there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one or two out. And make them kind of. Twinkle like that. Don't tease. I'm going to tease you guys. I'm going to tease you. All right, let's put one more over here. Do I want a shooting star? Can we have a shooting star, Evie? We're going to do a shooting star. I want a little bit more bright white on the side of this right here, like that. And then we'll do one little shooting star, like that, with a tiny bit of white uh, entering the atmosphere glow. Where's, the, where's my white pencil? I don't know what I did with it. All right. With just a little bit of coming into the atmosphere glow. Okay, let me dry that now. I want to get 
the bushes and stuff done. I don't know if we're going to have time. Well, we have a little time. We might get one of the borders done. Let's see what we can do. All right. Um, now, now what I want to do is go in here, like maybe take lilac, you know, because some of the areas that are like purple um, areas that have the glitter on them, and I want to knock back the white. I can go back over it with glitter, but I really want it kind of a bright, you know, want it to show up. We could even put maybe just a little bit of a glow on a couple of the turrets. Just a tiny bit of a glow on the turrets. But I'm taking my lilac color and like right here I did the purple glitter. Let me sharpen. I did the purple glitter around the windows. I don't want it white. So I'll show you how it looks when the, I'll compare. So look right here. See how I went over the white with the purple? And there's where I didn't. See how it knocks back the white, but it's still brightly highlighted? You can do that over your paint pens, your Posca or your Sharpie. So I'm just going to knock back those areas that are bright white and they'll still be highlighted but they won't be stark white so I'm going to add that purple touch and then I'm going to go in and shadow a couple more windows with the black okay so I'm just want a little bit of purple around some of the windows like We could even do some glow coming out of that window if we want. Might do that. Okay, so I'm just going in here in all the places that I wanted kind of a brighter purple edging. Because it could even be purple light coming through. Purple light. In this world, they have their light is purple. <laughs> Okay, now I want a little bit of yellow ochre, I think, on this, not purple. I want that to be kind of where the railing is a little. So that might be part of the wood color. Same thing for on these stairs. Let's knock back. I'll just knock back a little bit of that. Right, okay. Now, the only other place I'm going to probably have a light coming out of that window here in a minute. So now the next thing I'm going to do is take my black pen and go in here and let me take a sip of coffee, guys. I'm going to go in here and do some fine little details with black. Like little shadows, little outlines, little tiny details with my black pen that you just really hard to do a pencil on such a tiny area I mean I guess you could but a little tricky <laughs> to get in some of those dark lines that you want a thin line see I'm shed shading around certain things and I'm doing that with the pen I gotta be careful not to scruffy them too much though, because that will go through, not because of the pen, but because I'm doing too many scrubs. And the scrubs can go through. So you gotta be careful not to over get carried away, which you know I can do sometimes there. So I'm just picking out some of the very darkest shadows, like maybe around these little windows. Because, you know, the pencil will, you'll lose a lot of your black color book lines with pencil layers, right?
And I know y'all can't see anything I'm really doing here because it's so tiny, but Hang on, we're getting there. I want to get those trees and some of that grass. But those little details matter. I didn't see anything y'all put in the last couple minutes. All right, let me go in and do the glow coming out of the, I'm going to get a small brush and my, let's see if any of my wet, white, white paint still wet. I don't know if it is. Where's, the, where's my tray here? Ah, oh, yeah, it's still. So I'm going to take some of the white, a little bit of purple, get a nice light purple color. We can always add, we can always add pencil on top. Or yellow we'll see I want I kind of want a purple light coming out of the window so what I'm gonna do is up here in the window and light touch shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. So I get some purple first now I'm gonna drop, get a nice dry brush again and go in here with some tiniest bit I need a brighter yellow Get a bright yellow here, just a touch. The ochre's too dull. I want a brighter yellow. And then right in the center. A glow, a nice, a, something that always makes a nice glow is an orange. So I'm going to take orange. If you ever notice um, Thomas Kincaid, how he gets that painter with light look, it's orange. I can't say always, but he gets those glows in those windows with orange. All right, now let me get a dry brush here and feather this out. I'm going to dry this and I'll go in there a little bit with pencil to kind of feather it out. All right, just a little bit more orange. All right, now let me dry this. Thanks, Terry. I want to get the bushes done here. All right, now I'm going to go in here with my white. I know I have a bigger white somewhere. <laughs> I just bought two over the weekend. They're around here somewhere. I just bought two new white pencils. But let's make sure that's dry. Now what I'm going to do is get in here and kind of, kind of just feather that out and kind of make it look like. Something like that. And don't make it all perfect because then, you know, you're going to kind of ruin the effect of it glowing out and probably wouldn't it wouldn't probably come right here because the tour it would block this tour right here would block that light because this is round right there so let's go ahead and it might have a little glow but you can always kind of soften it something like this okay I don't know kind of Sort of pulled it off, but not exactly. Maybe if I get a couple, a little bit of bright right in the center, that'll help. Like that. There we go. All right, now I need a little yellow ochre right in here. And then a little black detail. So, yeah. Okay, I'm, I could keep fussing with it. Oh, you're welcome. I now want to do, but I want to do a little bit of something in the trees. 
so I want to get in there I'm not going to do a whole lot but I want to get a couple shades of green like an olive green and maybe a, oh no, another green what color is this one peacock green might be a little too blue but I'm going to go for it so all I'm going to do is just kind of she's already got the trees in here I'm just going to kind of darken some areas with this peacock green because I'm going to put a little bit more mist over the thing here so just give me a second then maybe some darker green like right along the edge here and then this tree we kind of want to make that one stand out a little okay so let me get a little bit more of the grass and the just a little darker area some bushes are over here just got some little you know grass clumps right in there like that maybe along there okay now I'm gonna come back up here behind and just darken a little bit of the tree not really trying to color it just kind of adding okay just adding a little bit of dark because you know we've gone over it a couple of times with pencil and paint thanks again dude this was a little scary but i'm glad you sent the book oh i'm so glad you came by and i'll post it on twitter and i'll um uh, link your blog and i'm going to link your amazon and all that to the book in the description when i upload the video to youtube so thanks for being here it was awesome to have the artist here all right so now i'm going to take the um, little bit of the olive and just kind of get in here now i'm going to put a little mist here just one second we didn't get to the border guys but i will finish the border before i post the finished piece so you know all i'm going to do with the border is i'm going to go in here with some gel pens probably purple and gold maybe and get in here with the gel pens and glitter up the border like this you know see look Same thing for the top one. Let me just get that mist in the trees and a little bit across the castle. It'll give it a nice effect. But you, these are the kind of details you have to do at the end. Don't be trying to put some mist over your trees when <laughs> you haven't finished the trees. Trust me, you do not want... Oh, there's a little bit... Let me go ahead and do this vine here. There's a little bit of green vine, so I'm going to put that with some white and a little bit of tree right in here. I'm going to put it in with white and then go over it. I'm going to dry it and then go over it with the green. You could even add a little bit of moss on the actual castle itself. All right, let me dry that little bit right there. I'm going here with the olive and go right over the top of that white and it'll make it green, light green, where some of that tree is and the vine coming up and then maybe let's just take a little lime green a bright green because we're going to go on top of you know you could maybe add a little bit of mossy bits you know just a little bit of green that's going to give it a little bit more oomph so we're just going to add some moss all over the castle i mean just sporadically guys don't go in there and color the whole thing green just add a little bit of green moss like that can even knock it back with the olive in places you know I'm trying to finish this up in a couple hours so um, but you don't want to hurry when you're doing it yourself okay and now I'm going to take my uh, I think oh here's a baby wipe so you need a damp baby wipe and I'm going to pick up some of the white a little bit where is it here it is get a little bit of white in my baby wipe. I mash it into the baby wipe okay and here we go we're gonna add gonna add a little bit of gently add some mist coming right over the trees and a little bit over the castle see that you gotta be brave because <laughs> there's no going back from this you can't wipe this away we don't have any matte medium or anything on this so you know 
it, it is what it is. You can't like go back. So <laughs> be sure where you're going with it. And less is more. Just a little bit like this, you know, just a little coming in from the sides. Maybe a little coming over the roof, just the smallest bit coming across the roof. Like that. Okay, like that. Gonna have maybe a little down here, like floating in front of the, like there's some morning fog or something. A little bit down here. What do y'all think? Do we like it? <laughs> like that. Okay, you don't do <laughs> All right, let me back out, guys, so you can see the whole thing. Okay, let's go back in one. So, other than the border, we pretty much got everything done. Let me dry. I do want a little bit more yellow ochre down here on the where I put the brown. Just kind of blend that in a little bit. Something like that. So now let's see if we can tilt and you can see the shine and the glitter. So even though Azure is really blue, we went with the purple. But Evie's not going to email me. <laughs> <laughs> so I will finish the border before I post a picture though <laughs> so yeah so I hope y'all enjoyed um, a little view into the world of Tierra this is the coloring book based on Evie's trilogy which again if anybody hasn't put in the links recently go ahead and do that and I'll put the links into the description box when I upload this to YouTube you for, I know, you forgot how, yeah, look, see, that's, <laughs> that's the thing when I was trying to get in there, guys, that's why I said, when you get in there with your pen, because that's very tiny, look, the whole thing is smaller than my hand, so that was some tiny work in there, <laughs> but the glitter gel pens are pretty fine point too, so yeah. So there we go. Oh, I'm so glad you had fun, Evie. And thanks for sharing. Thanks for letting us know about your book and your trilogy. And I hope you all had a good time. And uh, so let's show the cover one more time here. And um, yeah, so thanks for joining us on this. I'll be back for another segment. But thanks again, Evie, for joining us today and sharing your world with us. And we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks, guys.